Good morning. Uh, last week I said it was the last mail order. <clears throat> well, I lied. I just did another one. And yeah, this was ordered yesterday afternoon and delivered today. Um, this is the first one. And Okay, that's a lot of bullshit and a lot of recognizable packing material. And there's another one. And can you guess what's in the other box? That this box, uh, yeah, it's probably not for Pip this time. Um, he had an accident this morning, and I don't know what happened. I let him out when I came uh, downstairs, and he was only out for half an hour or so, and I think he broke his tail. Yes. Now I don't know what happened. I hope he just fell off something instead of being hit by a car. Terracotta! Uh, yeah, dishes, bowls, and in here is what's going in there. And this is the first time I ordered these species. And of course they are orchids. But different orchids. I never had these. Let me see. What does it say? It says, ah, it says, uh, In here are six orchids. Yes. Um, I have here a, a three species of Blatilla and three Pleiones. Yes. <coughs> Never seen them before. I have no idea what to expect. Um, it's a big box and it's very heavy, so it's not just bulbs. I was counting on bulbs. Ooh. This is... <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> uh, move along, sir. Nothing to see here. Uh, and indeed, there's nothing to see. At least for now. They are very cold, but they are pretty hardy, so they can take a hit. I was kind of hoping they were in this condition because. It is super fun seeing this grow. Um, gonna yeah, well, um, as I said, nothing to see here. This is Blatilla striata. It's beautiful, really. 
Stunning. Um, yeah, this is... Um, <laughs> we have pictures. <laughs> Here we go. Um, this is Platella Striata Alba. And here we have there are some roots coming from the bottom. This is Bletilla Penway, long stem, <coughs> which probably means it has a long uh, flower spike. And here's another Bletilla. Gucci Benny. And this is a um, a shared order. Um, the long stem of the Bretilla Penway and the Cucci Bene. Oh, that's a striata. Hmm. I'm not sure if she ordered that. But these two are going to my sis. This one is mine. Uh, this is Leone Formosana Alba. And it is very pretty. Strange little bulb. Here's an old bulb that's iffy, but meh. I will have to do some studying. This is also Bretilla. No, not. It's Pleoni Glacier Peak. And well, it does may have a picture, but it's white with a yellow lip. And again, here's an iffy bulb. That's really iffy. It's soft. Well, I'll probably have to make some phone calls, but for now. And these come from a Dutch nursery that, well, only has outside orchids or uh, hardy orchids. They also have a, well, I think it's about 15 Cypripedium, but I didn't dare to order those. They tend to be iffy. This is play only Marco Polo. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. They are in a sandy mixture with Mixture with perlite, very small bark. These are in, well, this is, this is coconut with peat, yeah. This one is in a more soily mixture. This is one, two, three. There are multiple plants in these. This is, well, it's covered in moss, but it's also in a sandy mixture. These are also soily. And this one is also soily. Okay. Hardy har har. Orchids. Well, uh, yeah, the Pleonis will be put in these. And I think I'm going to put them all together. Looks nice. 
and I promised my sister a bowl. And these, well, yeah, I have to study because none of you have these. So I can't ask any questions. And well, uh, the most expensive one is uh, this one. This one was 12 euros. And well, it's a fortune. And the rest is, well, uh, a few euros, really. It's super cheap. Oh, yeah. Don't lose the tags, especially with these. Okay, um, click unboxing. Later. Okay, uh, I just got off the phone with the, the grower and this is not the, the way they usually send stuff. Uh, I was a bit early. So when I said to her uh, there were two rotten bulbs on two of the pleonies, uh, she didn't <coughs> at first understand what I meant. And then she asked, are they still in pots? Yes, they are. And they are at the moment busy uh, getting all of their pleonies out of the pots and overwinter them. Yes. So that's why <coughs> there are still rotten bulbs. And these are the old bulbs from last year. So, um, these need to be fixed right away. These can stay and, yeah, as always, evenly moist. Don't let them dry out. Don't get them too wet. Not so helpful, really. <coughs> the one that invented that should be flawed. Really, and flawed with an F, not with a V. Yeah, it's chilly in the mid room, really. Um, I got the radiator running in the grow room at the moment, and it's 21 degrees with 75% humidity. But the problem is. Um, the thermostat is in the room without heating. Now normally if that screen wasn't there, it would all work nicely, but it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And at night I open the, uh, the door and I don't even lose that much humidity, so problem solved for now. Still not really winter, so. But I have, um, well, 15 degrees at night. It's, yeah, well, it has to do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the, the glacier peak first. And yeah, if I can find a picture, I will add that now. I hope you got that. Um, yes. Uh, a local dough. Yeah, and they they look a little bit like a layout flowers, really. I could remove everything. So just twist the bulb off, but this one is soft and filled with liquid, so that's going to be very careful. And then I have to store them, and I was planning, uh, she said sawdust, but I don't have sawdust, I only have this stuff, very small uh, flakes. 
that's what I'm going to use. If it's not okay and someone says I need sawdust, please put it in the comments and I will get sawdust. Uh, and then they are going into the fridge. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the weirdest things of all. Okay, Ooh. here are the roots. And they look a little bit like, well, dirt orchid roots. Paphiopedalum. Yeah. Fires. Um, yeah, she said those roots were not doing anything anymore. Um, also gives me a chance to see what it's potted up in. This is garden turf. This is uh, basically compost. S and sand, a lot of sand. And we call this sharp sand. I have no idea what it's called in English. This is uh, gray sand, stuff you use to build. Yeah, what I can find about these is that they make a shallow root system, but I think if you give them two feet, they will fill two feet. Yeah, same structure as epiphytic orchids. You have a velamen and a root. And what she said, they were just about to start with overwintering. And I thought I was already too late, but no. Uh, oh, that went well. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. Pretty sturdy roots as well. Okay, um, well, no, I'm gonna chuck this. Yeah, there's, yeah, it's perlite. You can see the, the color of the sand, it's gray sand, not yellow sand. Little flakes of bark <coughs> well I can remember that okay this is the where's the tag oh come on ah yeah white on white yeah that's uh play only glacier peak well the rest is Pretty straightforward, I think. The yokel. And these uh, flower. Uh, Before they make leaves, <coughs> and then they make a set of leaves. And they propagate by forming new bulbs, so if you have one, it will eventually become more. Really easy. My sis wanted them to plant them in the garden. I don't. <clears throat> but just to start out, 
First time with this stuff, I recommended bowls. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, last one. That's the Marco Polo. And I wish I ordered the second one because, well. Very loose, very sandy. This one has also an old bow. Easy peasy. Okay, well, <coughs> that was really, really easy. And uh, now for the storage. Um, very little cardboard boxes would be very, very nice. Uh, I'm going to look for a very small cardboard box. I already have one. Now I need three to fit into this one. Hold up. Can take a while. Well, I have <coughs> one little box. Um, yeah. Get a bit out of the way. Yeah, the, um, the sand has a very uh, coarse texture. Um, that one is mine. Marco Polo. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, for Mussani. Yeah, I have to take care because that one is not mine. Okay. Um, hold up. I have to make a note. Okay, yeah, I hope you watch because that's very rare. It is, I don't do that often. Well, if it's not right, comments. one oh it was made for it yes it was um no please Yeah, the stuff you have to do for orchids, it's absolutely insane. Stupid plants. Um, Yeah. <sighs> 
Uh, yes, and so. Hop and hop. That's it, the bit on the end. Later.